I want you to be the hero of your own story. You to be the hero of your own movie. Imagine right now is when your movie starts. We all love the movies of the underdogs. We all love the the comeback story, like the pursuit of happiness, right? The pursuit of happiness, we love that because we can see him hit rock bottom. We can see him with his son crying inside of a bathroom in a train station. That's his rock bottom. And you can see that mindset change of this is not going to be this way forever. I will do something in this exact moment to make sure that my future is different than my present moment is right now. I want you to act like your story is exactly the same. No matter where you are, no matter where you've been, no matter all of your screw ups and everything that you've done wrong, I want you to pretend that right now, your story has flipped on and you have an audience watching you. They're on your side. They want you to win. They want you to succeed. Imagine that every day walking around, that there's just a, a documentary, a, a documentary, the group of just, I don't know, they're completely messing up the word, right? A group of people that are doing a documentary on your life and everybody's watching. Are you going to make the right decisions? Are you going to, just think about how much different your life would be if every moment of your life there was a crew videotaping your every single moment, everything that you did. Wouldn't you make different decisions? Wouldn't you do things that would be a lot different? Wouldn't you not skip all all of the different things that you, you know, cut corners and skipping different things that you know that you should do and waking up late? If there was a crew following you around, wouldn't you do things different? Be the hero of your own story. Your past doesn't matter. Your present doesn't matter. If you're listening to my voice, and you're sitting there and you're addicted to drugs, you're addicted to alcohol, you can make the change at this very second. You can be the hero of your own story. You can act like you're the person that's in that movie. Pretend that that movie is you. You are that person in that movie. Pretend that everyone's watching you and everyone's rooting you on. And then you ask yourself this question. If if my life were a movie, if it was that rock bottom point, if it was that turning point in the movie, What would that star of the show do? What would Will Smith do at this moment, just like he did in The Pursuit of Happiness? What would the star of my movie do? Figure that out. Get a pen and paper. Write it down. And do that. Do whatever that thing is. That's what you need to think about. That's what you need to focus on. You take a pen and paper and you say, how did I make mistakes? How did I screw up? And what you do is you figure out all of your mistakes, all of your screw ups, and you don't dwell on them. You don't think, man, there's so many ways that I screwed up. The reason why you're writing down your screw ups and every mistake that you've made is so you don't do them again. It's so you can now make change and go a completely different direction. That's what you have to think of. What would Will Smith do is what you have to think about, right? What would he do in this situation? If he was the star of my movie, what would he do? You figure that out and all you have to do is do that. See, too many times people like to play the victim. Oh, well, this happened to me in my past and my mom treated me this way. My dad treated me this way and all of these different things. And I wasn't raised with the the right influence. The best part about being alive in these day and age with with podcasts and YouTube and the internet and everything that we have is that information is readily available. No matter what it is that you want to do, you can find the information to get you to improve at whatever it is, whether it's self-improvement or whether it's improving at anything that you want to get better at. There is a master out there that is willing to teach you. The thing about that is you can either play the hero in this story and go and find that information and go out and actually start changing your life or you can continue to play the victim, right? There's only two things that you could be in this situation. Either you're the victim, you're complaining about all of the things that have happened to you, you're complaining about the past, you're complaining about uh, and, and, and worrying about all of the things that you've done and people judging you. You could be the victim or you could be the hero. The best part about it is that you are the one that makes the choice. Either you're going to be the victim and you're going to to continue down this path that you've been on, or you're going to be the hero. You make the choice of which one it is. And then if you go out 
and you look at that pen and paper and, and everything you wrote down, you see all the mistakes. You learn from your mistakes. And if you go out and you happen to make more mistakes, you learn from those mistakes and you write them down. Because here's the deal. No matter what age you are, no matter where you are in your life, no matter all of the mistakes that you've made in the past, all of the mistakes, all of the people that you may have screwed over and all of the things that you've done wrong, you can make the decision in this present moment to be the hero of your own story, to write down your mistakes, to learn from your mistakes, to improve, and to make the decision that I am going to spend the rest of my life getting me to where I want. If your children were watching your movie, your documentary, would they be proud of their father or their mother? That's what you have to think about. If your mother or father was watching, if your brother, sister, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, cousins were watching this, would they be proud of you and the decisions that you make? You're in control of the decisions. Either you can be the victim of your story and play the victim card, or you can be the hero. I hope that you choose to be the hero. So once again, if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the smash button. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And if you like this video in this episode, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another episode. And I'll see you later.